So apparently it seems to trigger a lot of you when I throw the keys up in the air. So just for you. <laughs> Beautiful car. It's a three litre D V6 portfolio automatic. It's 2015 on a 65 plate. It's some 50,828 miles. Fuel economy, urban, 39.8 miles per gallon. Extra urban, 51.4 miles per gallon. And combined is 46.3 miles per gallon, which I'm sure you'll agree out of a, a prestige vehicle like this, this size is extremely good. I'd be very pleased with that. Not 60 is six seconds, has a top speed of 155 miles per hour. Out of a 271 brake horsepower, six cylinder, 24 valve engine. Jaguar XJ, I've wanted one of these in for a while. I love them, love the interior, love the shape, love the size. It's kind of a squatted down Range Rover. Uh, Jaguar make the best interiors ever, in my opinion. Just, just beautiful styling, just love them. So rear privacy glass, we've got the electric tilt and slide, panoramic sunroof, chrome window surrounds, power folding door mirrors, Keyless entry, keyless go. There you go. As long as you've got the key on you, get out of the car, press that button, locks it, folds the mirrors in, come back to it, key on you, put your hand behind the handle and it just opens up. Now I'll just see if we can disable that keyless entry like you can with the Land Rovers. So, you open the door, press the light switch three times and then click unlock. So, open the door, one, two, three, Unlock, we'll just see. Yep, yeah, that's that's not working. So the keyless entry is disabled. Um, you've only got three seconds to do that, or three, four seconds, so you have to be quick. So that, that's not working, but you can lock it with the remote. You see there, it, it won't open. To switch it back on again, open the door, press the light, uh, button there three times and then click lock so one two three lock then there you go it works so in order not to get it nicked with somebody with a signal snatcher outside your house at least you can't get in the doors um, by signal snatching so you know please do that for the sake of the inconvenience of getting the key out of your pocket and just doing that you know I'd rather have my car sat on the drive in the morning when I come out to it. Lo lovely car, the, the chrome Jaguar vents on the side, multi-spoke diamond cut and dark silver alloys, the LED daytime running lights there, high pressure headlamp wash, front parking sensors, the black mesh grille, the Jaguar there, it's not, the, it's not like the old days with the leaping Jaguar on the front which I used to like but somebody the other day said, I hate people who put child impalers on the front of the cars. Well, we'll discuss that later. So, a re real nice car. Got the shark fin aerial on the back there, and then this, then this little boot lid spoiler. Hey, lovely lines, to, to me, lovely lines. The, the back lights that sweep into the back wing, all the back, especially in black. I mean, it just looks brilliant. The, the privacy glass in the black windows, it just looked like, I mean, to me here, with the reflection and the, the gloss, and this is bearing in mind that Lance hasn't even cleaned this. This, this is just as we've got it. When Lance has cleaned this, it'll, it'll be like a mirror. I can see all the sky in it, and it just looks like it's made out of, uh, out of glass. It's fantastic. Oh, rear, rear parking sensors there, and underneath here, you've got a, a reversing camera. So we open the boot, it's power open, power close, boot lid yeah quite quite a lot of room in the back and it, again i always go on about british product and how proud we should be of them and you open the boot in there in brushed aluminium jaguar inside the boot where you can't see it it's just the little things that, that, that just make british stuff better than anything else in my opinion here we go so you've got that little switch there boot goes down soft close as well. Actually, I wonder if it has soft closed doors too. Absolutely brilliant. Pr 
proper limo. Lovely kind of Alcantara headlining here. I've got, I've put the seat forward, but mostly got plenty of room. All you can see is little airbag, plastic um, covers. I can put this shade band back using the electric switch here. And one, one thing I noticed before, I have a habit of locking myself in. If any, any cars have got <laughs> rear child locks on and, uh, and I forget to test them, which is more often than it should be, I lock myself in the back. But here, you've got unlock, just like the driver's door. Global lock and, and global unlock. You've got Meridian sound system, surround speakers, fantastic. If you like music, it's brilliant. Here we go, we've got heated back seats as well and your own climate control. So it's kind of dual zone climate control in the front. In, in fact, it, I suppose this is quad zone, isn't it? Because dual zone climate in the front and dual zone in the back. So very, very good there too. Here we go, we've got rear armrest. And that that is a very comfortable place to be. It's, uh, you know, I mean, there's, there's not many cars more comfortable than this. And I, I rate these, you know, seven, seven series and five series. The, the, I wouldn't like to be in the back seat of one of them for very long, especially if they've got run flats on. Whereas this, it, it's, it's just pure luxury. This, this carbon fiber, it looks fantastic. It, you know, it, it goes all the way around the dashboard, merges into the doors. And from here, again, Jaguar right in the middle, just to remind you, you're in a Jag. <laughs> Not that you could forget anyway, Jaguar. Rightly so, they, the people who make this Jaguar Land Rover are proud of it. And uh, it's a great, great value car, really is great value. Let's go for a ride. So the two Jaguar keys there, <clears throat> foot on the brake, click the start button, remembers the seat position. Um, let's just see, let me tell you the service history. 18th of the 10th, 2016 at 16,406 miles. Lloyd Jaguar, 23rd of the 8th, 2017 at 21,308 miles, Lloyd Jaguar, 12th of the 12th, 2018 at 27,893 miles, Lloyd Jaguar, 19th of the 8th, 2020 at 36,662 miles, Lloyd Jaguar, 30th of the 12th, 2022 at 49,150 miles, Tweedale Motors. The car's done 50,831 miles now, uh, well, I'd, I'm pretty sure there's only one person driven this vehicle for the last, uh, well, since he bought it. But as you can see, the mirrors will move, steering wheel moves, seats move, that's second position, third position. Mm, and I think, did I move it? No, I, oh no, I mustn't, uh, oh gosh. Somebody else definitely has been driving this. I thought I'd change the seat position, but obviously not. The electric seats, let's get that back there, down. It's about the right distance for me. Where's the electric, here we go. There we go, pull it out a bit. Down there, that's perfect. The door mirrors. Get the door handles in and we see what we're doing. There we go, and it helped. So all that's working, as you saw the, the steering wheel electric's working. It's got just the heated steering wheel. God, you can't beat it, fantastic. Also got heated seats as well. Um, you see the heel, it's this, this is quite a good idea. On the home screen there, there you go. You've got your heated seat. It's also heated and cool this. You can set the zone if, if you don't want your bottom warming and you just want your back. 
um, which in, in some cases is if you've just got a bad back. But uh, So you can switch the seat zone off like that. There you go. That's both of them. Or you can knock this down to cooled. So again, you've got uh, you've got cooled seats, heated and cooled. We'll just have it on heated. It gets really hot, so just on one, and that's fine. And then back to the menu. Okay, here we go. We'll uh, we'll get going now. Just test the uh, power folding door mirrors there. You've got your electric memory seats here, three position electric memory seats. This at the bottom, I'm just that will move the seat squab out. Real good specification that now I'm putting the lumbar support and it's absolutely perfect for me big car I think uh, I think it's one of these that M is chauffeured about in in James Bond at least she was before it got woke and they killed him off. I've spent, I don't know, first first film I ever saw, my uncle took me to see Goldfinger. And all them years, James Bond has just got out in the nick of time. And then this lot <laughs> come out. 100 yards, turn right. And he, and he basically uh, allows himself to get killed, so. Turn right. Right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go to menu, I wanna knock that off. Menu, cancel guidance, that's it done. All nice and easy. Yeah, I've, uh, I've got a theory, really, that cars are responsible for the state of the world today. Um, and one, as I say, what somebody said, um, that uh, he hates people who put child impalers on their bonnet. Now that's, uh, that means the leaping Jaguar that used to be a symbol for the, the car and used to be on the bonnet. And uh, yeah, I, I, I get that. But then I look at all these airbags in here and I look at the controls like ABS and traction control, emergency braking. And I think there's a lot of people alive today who shouldn't be. You know, the, the anti-lock brakes and the anti-skid control. Normally you'd make a mistake in a car and you'd be dead. And it's probably stupid people who made the mistakes. So now there's a lot more stupid people still alive than they, they should be. Hence the state of the world today. Um, you know, if it was just left to, to proper people and they took all these safety devices off cars, then uh, I think the world would be a better place. That's just my view, by the way. But, you know, lane departure warning. Goodness, if you need lane departure warning, or need, need a warning that you're departing from your lane, then you you should really be shot. There's, there's no other, there's, there's no kind way to say it. This is like, drives as good as a Range Rover. I don't know, perhaps even better. It certainly picks its feet up faster. Got a great display. And I, I love oh, this carbon fibre around here. It's, it's almost like it's, it's, it's almost like being in a kind of boat. And then once you've seen ET in the in the centre here, ET phone home, you can't unsee it. Or the other guy out, the, the one out of short circuit, was it Wally? Or is that is that another one? Anyway, the design, fantastic. The speakers are fantastic. So electric seat control, heated seats, heated steering wheel. You've got your cruise control on the right hand side here. Dead easy to use. I 
fantastic ride and suspension and acceleration. There you go, your nav there, you've got stop start there. We'll knock the stop start off. I don't want it cutting out at a roundabout when I want to go and there's a big lorry coming from the side. That seems like a stupid idea. Perhaps, having thought about it, that's, uh, that is like a anti-safety switch for stupid people. If they knock it off, you're all right. And if you don't, I mean, just, right, if, if I put that, so the engine stop starts on now. They, it's gone off. So when I want to move away, for instance, it, I think it has a habit of, you're just kind of creeping out, you're waiting for a gap in the traffic, you're just about to go, and then your engine cuts out. And that split second can be enough between the guy deciding he's gonna come through the lights there anyway, and you getting out of the way. So, lovely and quiet. For some reason it does seem to want to make me, even though it's probably the same engine as Range Rover and so on, it does make me want to drive faster. Almost like I was in a, a Golf GTI. Cruise control. That's it, set. One touch. I can now increase my speed using the plus button, decrease it using the minus button, cancel it using the back button and resume using that one in the middle so again really really simple that's shutting the blinds there and just knock them open again and then you've got also tilting roof all the way back roof back forward to tilt shot so electric tilt and slide glass sunroof sometimes when you just want to be nice and warm and you don't want to see the horrid sky as I say, you just, or you don't want people to see your grey hair, just like so, and like so. Lovely Alcantara roof. Got the same controls here as a Range Rover. Click in your modes for your radio. You've got there, instead of the centre, it comes up on the right main menu show warnings, vehicle setup, click on vehicle setup, gearbox paddles, we'll just check the gearbox paddles. That's active in sport only. I want it active in drive and sport, so I just knock it down. So that, that's kind of the only thing I need to change in here. Um, but, you know, nice and easy to use. And we'll just, We'll just click a bit faster. There we're at 70. I suppose we could go on to these high beam assist there, alarm sensors, reverse dip mirror, drive away lock in. We're gonna go back and I'll just see display settings. Display settings, okay. Language, temperature, units, appearance. I'm going to knock it down to appearance. Click on appearance. So torch light effect, yeah, not, don't make a massive difference, but I quite like the torch light effect. Just touch the brakes there, cancel the cruise. 
on the dash you've got top left or the clock in the left top left fuel gauge bottom left is your coolant temperature above that you've got your odometer or mileometer then you've got the time and outside air temperature in the center you have your speedo and on the right hand side you've got rev counter and it's also showing you what gear you're in so we're in drive at the moment revs hardly moving <laughs> hardly doing anything just really ticking over at motorway speeds lovely lovely car It actually drives a lot like um, a Vogue. Not quite as heavy a drive as a Sport. And just, just absolutely lovely. You've got a heated front screen as well. That's a heated front screen there. Dual zone air conditioning in the front, so passenger can set his own there. You see there left and right, so we'll turn that up or you'll probably be able to sink it. And then you've got dual zone in the back as well. So everybody can be happy. Now, I just heard something beep off there. That's, that's, that's my new camera. I've only used it twice. It worked okay the first time and then not the second. Right, well, just had to uh, stop and reactivate my brand new 8K camera, which of control, which of course is uh, powered by a lithium battery, and the lithium battery overheats and it switches off. Stop it catching fire, no doubt. So the size of the battery in there is about probably less than a thousandth of the size of the one you sat on if you've got an EV. And this little one overheats in, what, 10, 15 minutes? And you're driving 300 miles. That's what they say you can drive. You can't, but imagine if you could. Imagine how hot that would be. doesn't compute to me far better having a nice diesel like this filling up in five minutes and being in comfort and not being frightened to put your heater on or your air conditioning on or your your heated seats, your heated steering wheel, because it decreases your battery range. Does anybody else think that's not right? Is it, is it just me? What a great car. Lovely styling. Great to drive. Great value for money. It's lovely perforated leather. Great driving position too, nice and comfortable. I could drive a long way in this, and to be fair, I 
I could be a, a passenger for a long way as well and sat in the back. Lovely, lovely car. Anyway, I'll finish the test drive there. And uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.